Can I start by declaring an interest? Members of my family were born in the 1950s. I actually live with one, and she gave me permission to mention it, so I'm okay. Um, I was going to start differently, but I've just spent six minutes listening to the Conservative spokesperson, and not once in those six minutes did I get any empathy for these women. Yeah. Not once in those six minutes did I get an apology for these women. The government is actually rejecting the implications on these women, and that's disgraceful. And it's about time they started, sat down and stood up, maybe both together, to actually just listen to the voices of these women. It's been heard by Helen Mary Jones already this afternoon to actually identify the differences and challenges facing women. Rose is not just one woman. It's every community we have has a rose. I'd be more than happy to. Uh, I mean, I've got family members affected by this, as I'm sure other people have uh, here. And I can assure you, I have every sympathy for some of the individuals who have been uh, affected. But will you accept that there was a Labour government that could have changed these arrangements and did absolutely nothing to change them? Do you accept that that is the case? Here we go, Tory trying to blame somebody else again when the Tories did all the motions. It's about time they took responsibility for their actions, and they're not doing that. Let's look at this reality. As I said, there's a rose in every community. And let's see this with this. It's known that 33% of men, 33% of men may end up only on state pension. 55% of women will actually end up relying on state pension. Disproportionate being affected by women again. We have a situation where the age barrier issue a woman who was born in May 1953 would have had a pension in November 2016, lost her some £2,000. A woman born in May 1954 will not get a pension until January 2020, a loss of some £20,000. A sake of 12 months, a huge difference. That is not fair. Also, let's go on to this, because the third problem we have is the notice. The women up there will tell you the notice. My wife will tell you she didn't get notice. This is a big issue. And when you do get notice, three years, what can you do in three years to prepare for your pension changes? Nothing. That is totally inappropriate and totally ineffective. You're putting these women in a position where they cannot make alternative arrangements, they cannot live on the in income they're going to get, they cannot prepare, and that is unfair. Now, I go back to the couple of points in here. Ages. And we talk about 1950 women, by the way, but let's be honest about it. I was told, I tweeted this, 1950 women. I was told off. I was born in 1960. I know the member who was on the radio this morning, we've been in the same category. I was born in 1960. What about me? She will be affected as well. Because we are thinking only in 1950 women, because they're coming up to their pension age now. But this is going to affect women for many, many years. And why should we be debating it? It's not just about women, because this government will have to pick up the pieces for those women. There will be demand upon social needs. Those women are now carers very often, whether they care for older, older relatives or grandchildren, they become carers. If they have to work, who's going to pick the carers? Who's going to pick the bill up for the carers? The people in the front row here. It affects the Welsh Government. It affects everything we do. And what's more importantly, it affects the women out there. The you know, we have a situation. Some are able to have occupational pensions, but I think Helen Mary highlighted this. They came to an age where they weren't entitled to occupational pensions. They weren't included in that. They, some of them didn't come to start work till later in life because there was a tradition in those days where they started to look after the family and came in to work later on, sometime part time, and built them up. That results in any occupational pension that they did have very, being very small anyway. And everyone, everyone relied upon the concept of, well, I'm going to have a pension at the age of 60. And that's my calculations. That's what I'm working towards, a pension at the age of 60. So I can retire and help with the caring needs of my family. That's been shot. Because they don't have to work, because they can't have the income when they would have retired. And some of those are working in jobs which are physically demanding. And it's going to make them ill as a consequence of that. It's going to make them probably have demands upon social services and social needs because of that condition they will then get because they're working for those extra years. What do we do in a society putting that upon women? It's about time we took our responsibilities and treated these women fairly. And the transitional period, thrown out the window by the Tory government, these women have been put on the scrap heap. 
It's about time we stood up and we represented these women and told the Tory government, you have a duty to these women, deliver that duty. Absolutely. Joyce Watson. Joyce Watson.